Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. I have another Christmas video for you. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into it. DIY number one. I have these two candy canes that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am just trying to figure out the length that I want and I'm trying to use my miter shears but that's not really working for me so I do end up taking out my hot knife and I use that to cut the bottoms off the candy cane now before I go any further I just want to say I did see some other creator make something similar to this I want to say it was Amanda from Six Kids in a Glue Gun, but I'm not positive. If I can find the video, I will link it down below. But I just want you to know this is not my original idea. It's just my spin on it. Now, once I get it cut the length I want, I'm just doing a crisscross. I'm just laying one on top of the other and I'm gonna take a zip tie and that's how I am going to uh, get them to stay together. Now I do want to cover the zip tie, so I'm just taking some of this thin ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just wrapping it around. You're not going to see it in the end, so it doesn't really matter. I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to cover up the zip tie. So now I have this garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's two of them, but I do only end up using just one. Um, the the two it just was too it was just too much. So I am just going to take it apart and I'm going to wind it a little bit smaller. Um, and I do try to, as you'll see here, I try to fit it in the center of this big one and it just I don't know it just was too much so anyway I do end up using just one of these uh, garlands as you'll see in just a moment Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this Now once I decide on that, I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to put a generous amount of hot glue on the candy canes just to hold the garland in place and I also want to say I'm sorry if you can hear the noise outside there's some leaf blowing going on back there so I apologize if you do hear it but anyway now I have some of these jumbo uh jingle bells I got from I believe it was Dollar Tree it's like a whole bag there's 
like jumbo they're all different sizes that i bought and i just kind of dumped them in the bag so and then i'm taking some zip ties and i'm just going to attach some of the jingle bells right to the garland Once I get the jumbo ones attached, I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to attach some smaller ones um, just kind of sporadically on the garland. And then I take some of this frosted greenery from Dollar Tree and I am just going to cover some of the candy cane as you can see right here. Um, I do that on both sides. So like four pieces, if that makes sense, you'll see in a second. And then I'm just going to take some smaller bits and I'm going to add them into the garland wreath. Making our Christmas memories. Whoa. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? And then once I fill it the way I want it to look, I'm happy with the way it, I... Oh my good gracious! When I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm taking this beautiful ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I am just going to cut a piece off of that. And then I have this solid red ribbon that I got from Target a few years back and I am going to use a piece of that as well. I'm just going to layer it. Um, so I find the center on both and then I am going to layer it and do the awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the center, tie it off with some twine, and then I will dovetail the ends and use one of the red pieces that I cut off to wrap around the center to cover the jute. Memories. 
Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start. Now, once the bow is made, I just kind of fluff it a little bit. And once I decide where I'm going to place it, I do take a zip tie and I am just going to uh, tie it to the candy cane. So it's almost in the exact spot that the other zip tie is. So I guess in essence, I didn't have to cover it because this one's not covered, but anyway, <laughs> I did, so it is what it is. And so once that's done, I am going to tack down the ends of the greenery that I put on, just kind of to the candy cane. And then I'm gonna use a piece of that jute to um, make a hanger for the back. And that's it for this project. I think it came out so adorable. I might hang it over our fireplace. I'm not positive yet, uh, but I think it is super adorable. Let me know what you guys think. DIY number two. So I got this two, well, we'll start with the Merry Christmas. I got it half off, so $1.25 at Hobby Lobby. And this was, I believe, $7.99. Yeah, so I got it for $4. And then these pictures, or this picture, actually came in a set of two. And it was $14.99, but again, I got two of them. So I'm taking the rich black and the night sky, and I cover that picture with those cover colors. Then I'm taking some of my white markers and I am just going over the letters so that they will all be a nice bright white. Once that's done, I'm taking my white Adirondack home decor paint and I paint where like all of the bottom part where the snow where it looks like there should be snow <laughs> anyhow then I take some of my Arteza gel pens and I am going to paint in some of the trees now my gel pen ran out so I ended up having to use some of my antique green from uh, Folk Art, I believe, uh, to finish off the trees. Once the trees are done, I'm just going to move on to other parts. And I do use my Arteza gel pens for the majority of it. Now, this is that night sky color. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Um, so it is like a grayish, grayish blue, um, but it's gorgeous. So anyway, I'm just doing a very light dry brushing with the night sky. And then I will put that aside to dry a little bit. 
and then move on to the next step. And that will be taking the white Adirondack paint to go around the frame of the picture. Once that's done, I put that aside to dry. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and go over all of the white. And then I am going to just take some glitter and add that to wherever the Mod Podge is. <laughs> Once that's done, I'm going to take some more of that white Adirondack paint and I'm just going to go over the trees so that it looks like there is some fresh snow on all of the trees. And I also do the little house as well. Now that the picture is dry, I'm just going to take my um, winter wonderland, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. And I'm just going to take some hot glue and put it all over the back part of the wood cutouts and then just adhere it to the picture. Then I am going to take all of the letters that spell out Merry Christmas. I'm going to line them up and try to get them as centered and as straight as possible. I use my, you know, L square ruler thing. I never know what to call that thing, but Anyway, I use that to kind of line everything up to make sure that it is straight. Now once that's done, I'm just going to take a pink brush and I'm gonna use the handle and just dip it in the lid of the, the lid for the paint, the white paint. And I'm just making little snowflakes all over the night sky. And that's it for this one. I am so in love with this picture. I think it is beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, DIY number three. I have this candle holder I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. It was $3, guys. It's gorgeous. So I took that antique green and I did two coats with the paintbrush. And then I did this third coat where I took the sponge, like one of those oral sponge things and I dabbed it on and that was enough to cover it, at least to my liking. Memories. 
Now I'm gonna take some of this gorgeous ribbon from Hobby Lobby, it's like an ombre green, and then this one has a bunch of trees on it. So what I did was I cut two strips of this green, and then two strips of the tree because I'm gonna layer it so it's gonna be green trees green trees and I also am gonna do it for both sides so in essence I cut four strips of each ribbon And then I am going to take the ribbon and I'm just going to make loops. So I'm putting some hot glue on one end. I'm going to bring it around and put that hot glue on the top of the other end. And it's just going to make a loop. And I'm going to do that with all eight pieces. Now once that's done, I flatten them out and layer them on top of each other. Then I'm going to just scrunch it in the center and tie a piece of twine as close to the center as I can get. And then I will take a piece of that green ombre ribbon to wrap around the center and cover the jute twine. Once that's done, I'm just going to hot glue the bow to the front and the back of this candle holder so that if it's, you know, on the center of the table, you can see the beautiful ribbon on either side. Then I'm gonna take some more of this frosted greenery and I am just going to add bits and pieces under the bow, sticking out uh, just until, until I'm happy with the way it looks. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Now 
be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This here is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh. And I did the exact same process on the other side and I think it came out so beautiful. Oh my good grief. I love this. Now I'm taking some of these um, battery operated candle sticks from Dollar Tree. Now, unfortunately, the holes were a little too big for it, but I did find some uh, round stickers. So I just put them on the bottom and I should be able to lift them right out when I need to change the batteries. But <laughs> this is what it looked like before I put the stickers on. Um, and also I didn't have any batteries to put in at the time that I recorded. So I apologize that you can't see it lit, but here it is. I love this thing. I can't wait to put it on our table. I think it's so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, DIY number four. I know that you've seen other people do it, but this is my take. So I have four of these bowls that I got from Dollar Tree. I have this crimson chalk paint and the antique green. I am doing two of each. Then I'm taking my E6000 and some hot glue. I'm gonna go around one of these bowls and then I am going to put the other bowl right on top of this one. Now I have a bag of these um, mason jar covers I got off of Amazon, just the covers. So I'm just taking that flat metal piece and I'm just going to glue it inside the cap itself just so that it's not falling out on me. <laughs> and I do that with both of these. Okay. 
Christmas memories. Oh oh oh, da 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 oh oh oh, da 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 oh oh oh, da 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time. Once that's dried up, I'm taking this terracotta paint in obsidian and I gave the caps two coats. Now, the only reason I did them in black is because this chain, which came from the Dollar Tree, in, it was uh, part of a hook um, in the floral spring section you know what i'm talking about so anyways i had two of these chains left so i'm using those so i took some e6000 and put that on the top and then i just piled a bunch of hot glue on top as well to hold the chain good on top and i'm doing this with both of these what will be little ornaments then i take some wire cutters and i'm gonna make two notches one on each side of the uh, cap so that i can cover everything up as you can see right there and it'll look like the top of an ornament so once I get that done I just bend it inside itself and it sits right on top of the chain I'm gonna do that with both and then I'm gonna take more e6000 and hot glue and I'm just going to adhere them to the top of these ornaments Then I took my brushed metal in silver and just did a very heavy dry brushing on the covers. Then I'm taking a couple small pieces of that frosted greenery and I'm going to add just one piece on each side of or on one side of each of the ornaments. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so then once I got that done, I took two of my little mini bows that I got off of Amazon. They will be in my storefront, which is linked in my description box down below. And I am so sorry, I thought I cut this part out. I don't like to double up. I, you know, if I'm doing two things, I don't wanna show you I don't want to show you me doing the same thing two times, but at least apparently this time I wanted to show you. So then I take the little bows 
and they're so stinking adorable. See, they're like little teeny tiny bows. But anyways, it's just perfect for this. So I took the red one for the red um, ornament and then the burlap for the green one. And I don't know if I said it when I showed you the paint, but I painted the inside of these bowls, not the outside. So there you go. Now I have this like jute cording that I always get off of Amazon that will be in my storefront as well. I love it. It's my favorite. It's just thick enough. Um, so I'm going to go around the ornament where the two bowls attach and I am just going to run this cording all the way around and it just kind of hides where the two bowls meet. Once that's done, the fun part. You take a lighter and burn off all the fuzzies all the way around on the top and the bottom of the jute. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how And again, I do this to both ornaments and here they are oh i think they're so stinking cute oh my goodness i can't even i absolutely love how these came out let me know what you guys think I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.